Hello, my name is Michael Griffiths. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, in this video, I want to talk about a prophetic timeline that I've compiled uh, using 10 years worth of dreams and visions that I've had concerning World War III and and I've seen, I've written all the ones out that have to do with the United States, Russia, China, Iran, Israel, and all those countries, and I've put them together in uh, what I think is a timeline. It's my opinion, really, but um, the dreams and visions sort of do follow a pattern that I've had over 10 years. So I've just compiled the list here, and I just want to go through it. Um, what I want to start off with, so I've had... I don't have all the details of World War Three. Someone may have more details about a specific part. My ones follow more so Russia and how Russia deals with the United States. And um, de my details aren't very clear about the Middle East, but um, Russia and Iran there is quite a bit in there. So I just want to start off by um, the first the first part of how it all fits together in the timeline. I guess are the events are leading up to World War Three, and um, we see in August 2008 there was uh, the Russian invasion of Georgia after the, all the fighting in South Ossetia and everything like that. And um, on the, on the, in May uh, 2008, I had a dream about Vladimir Putin um, really wanting wanting and desiring Georgia, and that he had a plan for Georgia. So I, that is what I've got as the start of the timeline. So, and that dream was from 2008, before everything kicked off in August with the war. Um, the second part is that China builds a huge space station to counter a US one. This space station is being built for a future Russian-Chinese war against the USA. So, the space station gave um, detailed coverage of the battlefield, so it was all linked via, um, digitally linked to uh, cameras that were on the weapons, on the vehicles and on the soldiers, and um, it gave um, pr battlefield progress, so this a large space station, which, uh, which I found out that is being built, and I had that on the um, uh, November 2013. Okay, a uh, dream from 2009 was Russia and China are trying to destroy the USA and the Americans are actually letting them do it. So there's an underlying plan, um, everyone's in on it, all the world leaders and they're actually trying to um, drop America's power down. They're, they're trying, they're letting them get away with it. Um, the second part is of the prequel leading up, events leading up, uh, riots break out across Europe, started by the United States and Russia. And these are behind the scenes. And the French president um, knows about a coming Russian invasion. And at this time, in this dream, there's riots near Paris. So you've got the events leading up. Um, and then from a Russian city point of view, I felt a really great sadness that um, there was a, a great sadness in Russia um, directed towards the city. And... Uh, I saw thousands of Russian aircraft airborne, like the entire Air Force was mobilized. Something bad had happened, and um, and a lot of people in Russia were going to die. And you know, people in every country die every day, but there was a significant amount of people were going to die in Russia. Um, and what God was sort of saying in that, in that part of the dream was, well, doesn't really matter where you live on Earth. Uh, you're either a follower of Christ or you're not. So what, whatever country you live in, it doesn't really matter in the end. And then um, after that, I was, uh, Russian jets attack a U.S. Navy ship, and Vladimir Putin appears on television. Now these jet aircraft were a swing wing; they were white, so they could have been Su-24 Fences or maybe uh, Tu-22M. Uh, I think they're called Backfires. They were white and they were swing wing, that's all I could remember. And I had that in 2001. Um, and, and then I, I had a dream also that Vladimir Putin starts a nuclear war after the Russian mafia, um, which is um, the powerful families in Russia that are controlling everything really. They put him back in charge of... Um, and then I see 
a nuclear war breaking out, see silos open, ICBMs um, hitting their targets coming out of silos in the ground, mushroom clouds, US cities, I believe there are American cities on fire, people running through the rubble, um, yeah, war, total war. Uh, I see also five Russian subs that are hiding in a deep trench and they are near the United States and I see two of them come to the surface and firing cruiser missiles at targets in the United States and they are south, somewhere south of America, maybe in the Gulf of Mexico or off um, south or off the coast of Mexico or something. So then after that event I see millions of Russian troops on the move. Uh, BBC reports New Zealand and Australian troops are about to confront them somewhere in Europe. Now I know New Zealand and Australian troop numbers aren't huge but <clears throat> this is the desperation that um, and, and you're saying like I'm a New Zealander so I'm seeing things from a New Zealand point of view. Um, there was a drafting obviously to war because um, Russian forces had started moving out across Europe and um, our troops from the Commonwealth were going to try and confront them somewhere during their movement um, and troops from my country in, in a dream were sent to Romania and or Bulgaria and that was to stop a Russian advance through Europe but at this stage there was total war in Europe, the war had broken out. Um, people from many nationalities were marching across Europe and Asia to fight Russia or China, they were just ordinary people not military trained and innocent and at this stage India had done something as well and war had broken out in Korea near China and North Korea had started this it was and they had it was a nuclear war <clears throat> okay so you can see how things are going slowly escalating so it starts off really with um, a build up of rioting um, across Europe uh, something bad happening in Russia that caused their entire air force to be airborne and then Russia hit strikes, Russia strikes. I don't see America striking them, I see Russia as taking America so that's how I saw it. Um, and then I see London as, as under air attack and there is, in, uh, what, what I saw there were up to 86 MiG-29s in the sky and former Yugoslavian aircraft are also involved so maybe they um, you know, I know a lot of countries make up former Yugoslavia, Serbia, Croatia, and all those other countries. And um, maybe this means that they are in some sort of alliance, or they give up and just join sides with Russia at this stage. But um, they're bombing London as well. And then I see that London is in steaming ruins, so London is destroyed. Then Germany is surrounded, so at this stage the Russians have moved, uh, they must take out England and then finish off the rest of Europe. So they must take out America first uh, with nuclear attack, then they take out uh, Britain, then they take out the rest of Europe. So uh, yeah, London, uh, Germany, sorry, is surrounded, uh, they've only, there's only 50,000 troops left to fight the Russians and the these Russian forces are, or enemies are below Germany to the south, um, Bavaria, and they're to the east where um, Germany meets Poland. And um, then I see that the whole of Russia now includes all of Europe and all of the United Kingdom and all of Scandinavia. So I saw a map of the whole of Europe and Russia and it was called Atlanta Rusland. Atlanta Rusland, that was its name, and this uh, Russian flag covered the whole of Europe, it covered all of Scandinavia and all of the United Kingdom, so it was under Russian control. And then because I'm, I'm a New Zealander, I see it from my point of view being a New Zealander, and I saw that um, at this point in time, um, what I think is a timeline is that China moves against all the Commonwealth nations, that they're all the nations that are under um, British rule, so my country. Um, gets invaded without any opposition um, and the Chinese launch a uh, sea launched cruise missile at a target in Auckland and destroy it and I in this particular dream I see hovercraft and landing ships uh, landing on a beach somewhere in New Zealand but we don't put up a fight um, so it's quite a passive takeover um, 
then the last nail in the war coffin is Russia and China invade the United States after a huge Atlantic earthquake and a tsunami. Now I don't have all the picture of what's happening. You know, this is just snippets of what I've seen. And I've put it together in, in a sort of order, so you can see how it begins with a build-up of tension, um, the pre the preparations that China and Russia are going through, like building this advanced space station. And I've, I found out that it is actually being built, and this is for a future war. Um, you can see now what happened with Georgia, um, what happened, what's happening in the Ukraine, what's happening in Syria. Um, you're seeing a new boldness and assertiveness with Russia. I, I didn't see an American counterattack in these dreams. I saw Russia um, hit the United States. Um, then they took down the United Kingdom. Then they conquered the whole of Europe. That's how that's how it went. Um, it might have gone in a different order, but that's how I saw it. it sort of saw it in snippets or how it went. Then China takes takes down all the Commonwealth nations. Um, I saw Iran doing things as well. So um, Iran fires an ICBM and it hits France and um, there's a long-range missile, but there is a mushroom cloud. I sort of see France getting a mushroom cloud rising above France, so they must have perfected a nuclear warhead um, in this future event. And also what I saw them doing is Iran destroys a US Navy ship with a ship launched missile and it, when I had that dream that was back in 2006 um, 2006 yeah um, I believe it was a sunburn missile because that was the latest kind of missile that they had I think they were developing or something so that's that's the timeline of events that I have personally seen I know that there is more to it than this this is just a a piece of the prophetic puzzle that I've been shown. Um, if there is more detail to some of these dreams that I'm, I'm saying, but um, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free just to ask me about them. And uh, thank you for listening to this video.